This is the one Agora coin from Israel. The first series of the one Agora coin was struck in from 1960 to 1980. It was designed by GM Shamir and most were struck at Jerusalem with no mint mark. Some were struck at other mints, including in Canada and Switzerland, but Israel decided to not differentiate these particular coins with mint marks. So they all look the same. And, and for all I know, this might have been struck in Canada, might have been struck in Jerusalem. Do not know. Now, you've taken a mint marks. You may hear that from some that the Star of David is used as a mint mark to indicate that the coin was struck in Jerusalem or Tel Aviv. However, that is not the case. Most noteworthy about the coin is the shape. You'll notice that the, uh, the shape here, this particular shape, happens to look like... looks like the edge of a scallop. And so we refer to this particular edge as a scalloped edge. And it is 21 millimeters across at the widest point, 20.2 millimeters across at the narrowest point, and it is 97% aluminum and 3% magnesium, and it weighs 1.03 grams. Yeah, it's pretty light. 100 of these makes one Israeli pound. And as I mentioned, it was used until 1980 when hyperinflation led to a reform of the coinage. These coins were demonetized at uh, the same year in, in 1980. And that, be, that means that stores would not be required to accept them. So uh, they had to be taken to a bank and exchanged for the new currency. Uh, presumably, the Bank of Israel destroyed all of the ones that were turned in. But, of course, lots of them remain. When you examine it closely, and I'll just lift this one up here again. When you examine it closely, you will see, you probably notice letters on it. And writing that, uh, that you might not be familiar with. And let's look. And let's look at the first of all the the obverse side. The this side here, we got three sprigs of barley. And the name Israel on the bottom in Hebrew, and also the name Israel is written on the left side, in Arabic. And the other side, flip her over here, and of course this one. Is, is not the same, this doesn't have the same alignment as American coins, as, as, as you may notice. And it has here a number, a big number one, and then the word Agora in Hebrew, and then below that, very hard to see here because it's pretty tiny writing, is the date. Now, the dates are different from the dates on uh, coins in, in many countries. The uh, Israelis use a different calendar than than most than most places. Uh, most places, of course, use the Christian Gregorian calendar, but the Israelis use a different calendar. And if we look and on this one, the date on this this one is 1974. The date on it uh, is 734. Again, hard to see, but it's at the it is that small writing at the bottom. This is just a short form for the year 5,734. The five is understood, so it's left off. Now, different, now telling the difference between the dates, uh, this date and the Gregorian calendar is pretty easy because the difference is 3,760 years. So you take the Israeli date, 5,734, subtract 3,760, and you get the year. 1974. So, why collect these coins? 
While they are not really that old, uh, there are other things that make them interesting. Um, Israeli coins are not extremely common, as Israel is a small country with a small population, about 20 million, no, 20 million? No, 10 million. Less than 10 million people live in Israel. These coins have do offer an opportunity to add another country to your collection and to do it quite cheaply as well. These coins in average circulated condition cost less than one US dollar. And of course, most of them you can find in bargain bins at your local coin dealership for as little as 25 US cents. A lot of them, of course, are kind of beat up like this, this one is and not particularly attractive, but it is possible if you look hard enough to find ones that are a little nicer condition. But they are definitely out there. And again, you could find them in the bargain bin, 25 cents. So perfect for a young collector on a budget. Finally, uh, what makes the coin interesting is, is the shape. Why does it have this so-called scalloped edge? Um, likely, the difference is to help differentiate the coin from other denominations. And without the scalloping, the coin could be mistaken for one of the older one pruta coins. Unfortunately, I don't have an example of that coin here. Another one that it could be confused with is a, was one of the newer coins. Here's a 10 Agora, and also in aluminum. Looks somewhat similar and about, and about the same size as well. So... With the scalloping, though, no mistaking these two. No mistaking these two coins. So look for one of these uh, next time you visit your friendly neighborhood coin dealer. Uh, um, for online shopping, many grab bags of rolled coins will have these as well in them. In fact, <laughs> might even have a have a few. Uh, if you liked the video, of course, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe, and of course, if you subscribe, don't forget to uh, ahem, ring the bell. If you have any questions, please post in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for economical collectible coins, please let me know. I just might have it in my collection. Thank you very much for watching.